Hello, how's it going? Carlos Gonzalez here from CG Media Solution. So you've been invited to your first StreamYard meeting. This is a platform that's utilized to go live on multiple social media channels. Um, you are probably receiving a link from the host to participate in their upcoming event or upcoming live stream. So let's do a quick demo today to show you what that guest experience will look like. You're going to click on the link that you received from the host. It's going to bring you to this uh, landing page that we're seeing in front of us. The landing page is pretty easy. You're going to want to select a couple of things. One is you're going to want to type in the display name. This is what's going to go live to the audience. So be mindful of your full name, your title potentially, and the company that you represent. So I'm showing that here being separated by this little uh, slash icon here. So you go ahead and you can do that. Uh, the next thing you want to do is you want to go into the gear icon. And you want to select the camera that you want to use for this particular event. So you have an opportunity to use the onboard camera if you're using a laptop or a desktop. If you have external cameras via USB capture cards, those will also show on here. Uh, so you go ahead, you select the camera that you want to use. You also want to go ahead and select the audio that you want to use. It is highly recommended that you use headphones and a mic set that comes with those headphones. This is going to help with echo cancellation or with um, just reducing noise. Once you've done that, you're going to go through here. You're going to select the appropriate mic, the appropriate speaker. If you have your own green screen and you want to try that as well, you can bring in your own green screen with its own um, sort of background design. Once you've selected that, you can come out here, you can select unmute. You see how that mic is working now there. You can start camera. You can see the camera is now active based on my selection. But let's say you don't want to have your camera on or there'll be moments where you'll be uh, turning the camera off. The system will automatically designate this avatar. You can go ahead and edit avatar upload a profile link or a profile picture and add that as your profile picture. So whenever you turn off your video, at the very least, there's a, an image of you and representing who you are for that organization. Once you're ready to move in, you're going to click enter broadcast studio. In here, what you're going to see is a couple of things on the main screen you're seeing here is what's actually going to be going live. So you will see real time what the host is transmitting to their audience or your audience. Uh, down below, you're seeing that you're on the backstage. So right now we're pending for the host to let us come in to the actual stream and do the switching that they do um, as part of this event. But here you can see you can mute and unmute yourself as needed. You can turn your camera on. You can do some additional setting modifications if you needed to go back into that setting view. If you're gonna be sharing items from your computer, you can do so by clicking on the share button down there. So you have an option to share a video file or you can share your screen. This is great for sharing Google Slides, PowerPoint presentation, a keynote of some sort. You will pull that from there. It's as simple as clicking share screen it's telling you some tips as to like what to do. And then you get the option of sharing your entire screen, sharing an application. You want to make sure that these applications are open so you can have access to options, or you can share a Chrome tab, and that'll be displayed here. If you have audio in any of your slides, you want to make sure in the Chrome tab you're clicking Share Audio. And then that'll pop into the studio where the host will then sort of um, have it as a source to share when needed. Furthermore, we have on the right hand side here two options. You have a private chat option and a comment option. So the private chat is an opportunity where you can engage with the backstage individual. So this is going to be the host. If they have a producer, the producer. If there are other guests, other guests, right? So this is an opportunity where anybody that's on the quote unquote backstage will be able to have a dialogue via text. The comments tab 
is one that comes through if the host is sending this conversation out to their social media platforms. So let's say you're going live to YouTube. Um, this will pull in YouTube comments as the audience is chiming in on the conversation. So you'll be able to follow along as the comments are coming through. If there's clarifying questions that need to be um, responded to and you're on live, what better opportunity to do so than then, right? So this is ultimately a quick little guide as to like how to navigate through StreamYard as a guest. I hope this was helpful to you. Once you're done, all you need to do is click on the Leaf Studio and you should be good to go. Thank you one more time for your, your time. And um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate in reaching out. I'm at carlos at cgmediasolution.com.